Well, I'm very honored to be here and it's my first time and I discovered like in a, such a small town somewhere in Ireland like a, really a magic festival. What is incredible is that you get to meet amazing musicians uh, even before having a chance to have a talk. You immediately talk through music which is the uh, highest form of dialogue you can have with your friends and your colleagues. Another very special thing is uh, the kindness the kindness that everybody has and uh, I had some problems uh, in my arrival because I lost some uh, two flights and my luggage was lost and here everybody was so kind and gentle and so the organization is really impeccable. <laughs> You know, festivals in general are very special for musicians to meet and uh, share the music. But there is something special in small places like this, Bantry or when we do festival somewhere, the people has, have to all travel there and be there. Rather, in a big city, it seems like the, the meeting of musicians and audiences are, is, are not so intensive or not so personal. But here we go together to lunch and dinners and share the, the pubs, you know, have a beer together and seeing the audiences all the time on the street. You know, we greet each other, then see them in the audience and you know, so it's you kind of open more. I think we share more in this kind of place. So it, it's wonderful. So this festival is not only about um, making music, but it's also about music uh, instrument makers. We really hit it off. I went there one afternoon and I tried out the instruments and that led to me now giving a showcase on instruments and how to try out instruments and to, to look for different qualities and how to bring out qualities in, in new, mainly new instruments. And that is nice because it, it means that the festival is also a little bit freeform. It's not only you know, a one-way street, it's just chamber music and that's it. But actually, there are many different influences that, that concern us all as musicians. And, um, and if, if we're passionate about them, we can share them. And that, that is something very special. The Bentry House and the church are places full of history, so it's really wonderful to have this baggage with us when we play. But also there are places that are perfect for chamber music, as we are very close to people and we can really uh, put the energy, they feel the energy, and it's uh, yeah, really perfect for chamber music. One of the things I particularly enjoy about chamber music festivals is how close you can get to the audience. And uh, in this case, uh, this year I play only in Bandry House, but I, you virtually have people sitting on your lap when you play concerts sometimes, and it's fantastic. But also two years ago I played in the wonderful church, and both uh, has their own types of acoustics and it's really enjoyable. So compared with the big concert halls who see it's 1500 to 2000 people, I think chamber music played in small venues actually makes most sense. Well, the West Cork um, chamber music festival is particularly special. One, I think it opens up a corner of Ireland that for some people may never be discovered. So it just opens it up and it gives this magical environment in which to give birth to all of these performances and music with a stunning setting of the of Bantry House. Um, and I think also because Francis has this incredible ability to just like a 
polymath to, to go around and, and pick up like a bee the pollen of musicians and the, the inspiration from everywhere and just he is the, the one uniting thing because he invites everybody and I think his, his taste is also in, in people and repertoire runs like a thread through the festival and he has, um, he has the trust of the audience who come year after year because they know that they will get something that they won't have known um, or they know but in a different light um, so that's uh, that, that makes it very almost like a, an extended family that gathers like for Christmas but in July <laughs>